very many artists, male or female, can claim the bragging rights of selling over 60,000 albums in the genre of jazz anywhere in North America. I'm Angelique Lemin with WatchMojo.com, and today we have the exclusive chance to speak with Carol Wellsman, a woman who not only can, but does have that bragging right. Let me get this straight. You, you sing in French, in English, in Portuguese, and you're fluent in Italian. It would seem to me that romance languages for you are like tattoos or potato chips for some. Once you have one, you know, you, you can't stop. Just... <laughs> That's very good. I also, I also sing in Spanish and um, Italian on this album. So there are five languages on the new CD. Did you get confused sometimes? No, not really. Probably speaking I do, <laughs> more than playing and singing, because I love the fact that each song has its own rhythm and there's something very special about each one as far as the mood goes. You're a multitasker not only in the languages that you speak, but also in the instruments that you play and also the roles that you play in your career, because you're also, you know, singer, songwriter, musician, record label exec. Um, what, what is your, your life philosophy as an artist and as a person on focus? One does have to be focused in, a, in the one situation that you're going to take on. It's hard to be focused on five things at once, so what I find is it, it's, it's really a time management thing. You have to delegate a certain time of the day to be, let's say, songwriting or arranging or doing business. Like, I try not to mix business and, and music in the same day because they're different parts of the brain. When I'm on stage, I'm not thinking about songwriting. I'm going to think about, I'm going to be in the moment of the song, think of the message I'm trying to convey, because as a singer, you want people to understand the story and that you, you want to convey the message. And if you're not focused doing it, you're never going to convey it. Do you ever feel like you should pick one thing and, and stick to it or you, okay, turn yourself around? <laughs> well, I actually do. I, I'm really essentially a performer. And what I do is I, I arrange my music so that it makes my performance different from other people's performance. I only write songs when I'm driving in the car and I can't play. Like, I'll come up with a musical idea and then I'll develop it when I have a chance to sit down and do that. So you've met Celine Dion, and so you're going to talk to us a little bit about that. I was living in Europe and studying there and, and apprenticing with um, a famous arranger and producer, and he actually was producing some music for her, and, uh, and he said to me, you're going to hear somebody come in the studio today who has a gift of God in her throat and you'll seldom hear a voice like this in your lifetime and then look what happened to her career. A couple of years ago this same producer was working in a studio in Paris and uh, happened to be working with one of her co-producers and heard that she was doing a Lullabies album and he said oh really because I've written this song with Carol Wellsman that um, she might really like and so we sent her the song, This Lullaby, which is recorded on my first CD, on, on the Lucky TV Me CD. And apparently she and her husband listened to it and started crying, and they, they loved it. And so it's on her CD as, uh, down as the title, Baby Close Your Eyes. And uh, Diana Krall? Diana Krall is a great friend of mine, and I haven't had a chance to really perform with her other than when I first met her. We, we went out for dinner one night, and there was a piano in the restaurant, and we both... Um, played for each other and sang for each other and it was really like she accompanied me singing and then I had accompanied her singing and it, it, it's something I'll always remember because it was pretty unusual for the two blondes to be out <laughs> so, so probably someday we'll, like it would be really fun we, we've both said so that it would be really fun to do a song together what's your favorite song on the album and why that is a difficult question but I think I like live to tell the best. The harmony is definitely much more sophisticated than the original simple beautiful harmony that Madonna did, but it was much simpler. I, I felt that it was quite daring to, to tackle such a, a, a feat. Well thank you very much for talking to us literally again right before you go on stage from what we heard, um, you're gonna knock them dead. So oh, thank, I you hope so. thank, thank you very much. Thank you.